Hello guys, what's going on? This is an update to the ultrasonic cleaner that I made a while back. We are now in my shed, and what I've done to it is essentially made a better mechanism to hold the motor. So what I've done is I've used three zip ties, still the same mechanism is there, but instead of using a piece of rubber, I found that was inaccurate and it also did not allow full um, rotor, the rotor, and it would fall off. Freak. Now what I've done is I've put zip ties there and it allows the rotor to move a lot more efficiently. So there's a zip tie through there, then I've zip tied through there to each bolt. Quite a simple setup, yet it works extraordinarily well if I do say so myself. Um, it's still got the same power source and if we put it into or put the bowl back in, that's what I like about this, it. it's obviously got a detachable bowl and oops I'm spilling it, it's made out of, still made out of the same material if we put it on we can see that vibrations once the water's settled is pretty simple wait let's put it back against the shed like I normally have it that doesn't feel like it's doing a lot, move the rotor along I be right back whilst I move the rotor along It allows me to grip it more now I've got these zip ties on, which is also a very good thing really. So we're now turning it on. Wait for the water to settle. And as you can see there's miniature vibrations in there, I don't know if the camera's picking that up very well. Let me try to get an extended lighting over here. As you can see it's working a lot more efficiently now. And it is actually working extraordinarily well now we've... or now that I've essentially done the sip time mod to my ultrasonic cleaner. So that's version 2. Minor updates has been done to this. Yeah, it's all in the game of DIY and making stuff work more efficiently that I've created. Thanks for watching, guys. And your boy, 